Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This one's just going to be a quick short video on how I oil and clean my sewing machines. Uh, just a little disclaimer, I'm no expert. I, even though I do run a full-time sewing business, I only sew in straight lines. I don't really know that much about sewing machines and stuff. I just know general knowledge and what I say might be different to what other people do. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So I have an Alna machine just sitting up here. I also have a Singer heavy duty machine. Uh, both the actual names for them are in the description below, but I will be cleaning both of these and I'll give you a general look inside the machines. They are very similar to clean. Uh, they have very similar openings and just where I put the oil, where I clean things, are uh, very similar, even though they are completely different machines. Uh, depending on what machine you have, this video might be beneficial for you. Both my machines have bobbins that are sitting on top rather than like inside the machine, like uh, on the side. So that probably will be different to you if you have that sort of machine. Also, if you like this video, make sure to give this video a like and please subscribe to my channel because I have a goal to hit 50k subscribers by the end of the year. We'll get right into it. I'll show you what I use and hopefully this video is beneficial for you. Okay, so the equipment I use to clean my sewing machines, these look kind of like gross, but these are the ones that originally came with machines they are just like lint uh, brushes you can definitely get better ones than the ones I have but I just haven't purchased any different ones this also came with the machine that's just to screw like these little metal plate things off a screwdriver uh, you could possibly get away with not having a screwdriver depending on your machine but I have to use it especially for the singer because there's actual screw up top and then the sewing machine oil. So I just have the Singer oil. I purchased that from Spotlight. So first things first, make sure your machine is completely turned off. You do not want like your machine to be on. Usually take all like the threads out, the bobbin, all that jazz. How often should you do this? Uh, depends on how often you use your machines. I use my machines probably two or three three times a week at the moment because uh, I'm spending usually a day packaging, a day doing YouTube videos, etc, etc. Uh, I usually try and do mine once a week. But in saying that, like there's a lot of different, yeah, whether you should be doing it every two or three bobbins, every four bobbins. It's just up to you what you feel is necessary, really. So all I did was just undo these little screws with uh, this little piece here. I'm just going to take this plate off. And you'll be able to see how much lint's in there. Oh, it's actually not as much as I thought that'd be, which is a good surprise. Uh, usually there's a lot more, which is pretty bad. Um, the reason that we clean our machines, a lot of people don't know this, is because cleaning the machines, you got a lot of lint build up. That can affect like how your machine's running. It just makes the machine run smoother if it's got no lint in it. Like this still is quite a bit of lint. Uh, to be honest, but I've definitely had more in here at stages and you also oil your machine regularly because Yeah, it's like a it's a machine. It needs to be oiled regularly. It needs to be, have like all the different pieces and it's working correctly and lubricated so It's definitely important to do and it's just doing between like your servicing um, if you get your machine service, which you probably should, pretty much what you do is you just try and get as much lint out as you can. So try and get into each nook and cranny. Like there's quite a bit coming out already. Now this part in the machine comes out. So I'm just going to use my screwdriver. You could probably also use that thing, this thing here. I don't know what you call that, but you could probably use that too. I don't take the screws fully out. I usually just try and, yeah, do it like that. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of lint stuck in here. Now this will make the machine, yeah, just not work as well. It's probably why I've been having a little bit of difficulty um, sewing. The last couple of strips I did were, yeah, a bit chunky um, when I was sewing. It was like a bit clunky. So that would be probably why, because that is a lot of lint. If you've never done this to your sewing machine, go check it out. Because, yeah, you probably got a lot of lint stuck in there. So you just want to make sure you got pretty much everything out. Which might take a little bit. Uh, you can also use, like, um, air compressor thingies. But just try not to get stuck in there. Uh, people have conflicting opinions on that, though. Like, people will say, oh, don't do that. But it's up to you and your machine what you want to do. Like, you can get those sort of things from, I think, Officeworks. They're, like, for computers and stuff. 
to get the dust out. You can use something like that. There's different equipment you can get to help the process of this. But you just want to try and make sure you get as much as you can out. And as I said, probably do this about once a week if you are using your machines quite regularly. If you're using your machines like, you know, eight hours every single day, you'd be doing it a lot more than once a week. Oh, look at that. So you can probably see how much lint I got out of that. Now, usually before I oil the bottom part, I'll also take the top part off. So this is the top part. Usually it comes off all machines. This one just has one screw in, so I just take that screw out. Just be mindful of all the screws you're taking out and like where they go because you don't want to lose them uh, and you don't want to forget where they actually go. That just pops off like that. So you got the insides. What you want to do is just brush off wherever you think is necessary. Like where all the lint, you, you, you'll probably be able to see a little bit of lint build up in here and like dust and stuff. So brush that all off. I think it goes without saying, but you'd rather you need to clean the machine before you oil it all up as well, because you get like chunks that come out. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So you'd rather uh, try and clean it before you pop the oil on. So I'm just brushing around. Like I can't particularly see any big clumps or anything, but I'm just trying to move anything that might be hiding in crevices. By being also gentle, like I'm not like forcing anything because I don't want to like snap or break in the middle parts or plastic parts, I should probably say, because I'm not going to be able to snap the middle. Now it's time for oiling. As I said, the machine is off, but I can still turn uh, from the side part over here. So I can turn that with my hand. If you are new to oiling a machine, you can turn the side part and just see where it moves and like where there's metal parts that are touching each other. So just here is where I usually put it because it's moving there. There's a part in here, uh, which you can't really see because my finger, but yeah, in here it's um, grinding against metal parts, down further grinding against metal parts, and then in this little hole in here. You want to put that directly in the middle. Now how much you put, like maybe a drip or two, I'm guessing there's a better option like for a nozzle. This nozzle's not very long, so it's a bit harder to oil, but so I'm just gonna put a little bit more up here. So that's already, I can feel a difference. Now I'm gonna try and get some in here. I'm actually not squeezing on this bottle either. It just comes out naturally if you tip it upside down. So unless I need to drip one from high above. Then I give it a gentle squeeze. I'm just going to sort of put some in there because that's going to drip down onto the next moving part. And I'm just going to see if I've missed anything. I think I've got most of the actual moving bits with what I could um, actually reach. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this machine. Could also clean this part as well. It does get a little bit linty. And also the back of this, but my back is pretty good. But sometimes that does get pretty dirty as well. So I'm just gonna pop this back in. And that's pretty much how you do it for the Singer machine. Also, I forgot to mention, just run like a scrap piece of material through it a couple times, just so if there is any oil that uh, you've like maybe put a little bit too much in or there's just oil, it's going to get on the scrap piece and not on your like nice pretty fabric that you have. I'll quickly go through my Alna machine as well, but I won't talk and I'll probably just speed it up.
All right, that's done. So that's pretty much how I do it. Uh, clean my sewing machines and oil it. Uh, obviously you might do it different if you are a seasoned sewer. You might have learned different. This is just how I learned. And this is just how I do it. And it's been working pretty well for me. So don't come at me in the comments if I'm doing something you don't do, sorry. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope it does help you. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.